Hello, welcome to this brief introduction to working with widgets. Now widgets play an integral part in many of our themes. In uh, other third-party themes you might find that they're just sort of a sort of something on the side that maybe can't do very much. The default WordPress uh, widgets such as the archives categories, you know, these sort of things up here, they are, there's not a lot of functionality within them. Where we're different is that we go and uh, punch a whole load of functionality into these particular mechanisms because WordPress allows us to go and create many instances of these if we wish. Now in previous versions of the framework we relied heavily on widgets. It was the only way to go and display all the different features of the framework was to have you know, upwards of 15 or 20 sidebar regions or widget regions which you would have a bunch of widgets in. We've come up with a, a new way of working with widgets and sidebars and the layout that I think you're really going to love. What it does is it simplifies things so that you don't need to have a whole bunch of sidebars. Generally speaking, as we are going to be upgrading uh, all of our Aquila framework themes to the new version for the layout manager, um, you're going to find that you're going to find less and less um, sidebars installed. Um, if you find that you have probably a 20 of these uh, sidebars, then you're going to you probably don't have the the uh, most up to date version, or maybe we haven't converted your system over for uh, the new layout ver layout manager. What you will find though in both the uh, new layout manager version of the framework or the older uh, version of the the layout editor which is uh, available on a page by page basis is that we place widgets within each of these regions here now for our home page we have uh, stacked a number of different um, sidebars into the home page. So what we're going to look at here, this is home one, home two, home three, home four, and home five. I'm just going to expand them and just give you an idea of what we're looking at here. So we're looking at an HTML box and then we're looking at a bunch of HTML boxes um, split into two different columns. So this first little bit is a column, this next little bit is a column, and this is called a column break. And then down below that we're going to have the an HTML box and an info box slider Again, another HTML box and a quotator, another HTML box and a portfolio. And this is how we uh, design and create our pages to have multiple different content regions. Typically, within WordPress pages, you have one content region. And if you really want your website to look something a little bit more than just basic boring with a one content region, you have to have the ability to place additional uh, snippets of content within HTML boxes. Now WordPress did have uh, in their um, in their system they have uh, I think it's called a, a text box and you can go and paste HTML in there if it allows but the uh, what we've gone and done is created a really rich feature rich uh, HTML box and you'll see here that uh, we allow you to uh, provide an icon, a title uh, what its importance is, is an h1, h2, h3, h4, if there's any animation, what the actual text of the area is, whether it's styled differently, if there's any animation, whether or not there's an, an overall style for the box, whether or not it's got a background image, if there's a particular layout to it, and whether or not it's aligned left, right, or center. So uh, there's going to be a separate tutorial on how to work with the HTML box. However, just to give you an idea here, we're going to go take a look at the home page. So each of these widgets, so for example, this is the first HTML box and all it is is just a title. This is the second one with one, two HTML boxes, a column break, and another two HTML boxes. Then we have the next uh, sidebar region where we have an HTML box up here, and then we have another widget below that, which is the info box slider. Just see that, that's the HTML box, info box slider. Then we're going to have another region call with HTML box and quotator. Actually, this is the, the content region. I'll show you how that gets displayed here in just a moment. And then this is a separate widget altogether that is defined within the layout. But here we are, HTML box and quotator. Another HTML box and the portfolio. We'll find that right here. And then, of course, below that, we've got a contact box. Now, you may have noticed here that 
some of these items are not within sidebars and that's because these are um, I'm going to call them uh, a simpler widget to, to uh, implement and so it's available from the layout editor. Now you may find if you've got an older version of the framework and you're watching this video you're not going to see this bit that's right because everything everything every single widget is defined within uh, the sidebars themselves and so uh, you would just stick within the appearance widgets control panel to you know drag and drop your widgets as you see fit and then using the uh, the legacy layout editor which is available on the page view um, you would just go and define which sidebar regions are applied to your page now uh, with this particular um, version of the framework this is the primary layout this is what the home page is applied to and so we've got up at the top we have a primary slider we've got uh, just above or below that we've got uh, the header which has a logo or a website name the custom menu widget also belongs there so you've got a, a logo and then a menu and then below that we've got a couple different rows here and this is where we could actually just go and start dragging and moving these things around so we've got an HTML box widget this is actually a, uh, a sidebar so you can go and change this and, and uh, move it around if you wish you can change the background styling so on and so forth but I'm sort of getting away from what widgets are all about here so there's two ways of, to apply widgets to the page you can apply them by using a sidebar okay, or you can apply them directly so again this is going to go into more detail when we go uh, and do a the layout um, editor specific tutorial but you can actually go and insert a widget directly into your region okay and so we have a number of uh, we'll call them simple widgets that are fairly easy to impl implement the more complex widgets are only available from the uh, the widget panel and I'll just show you one other trick for identifying which one is a complex widget and which one is a simple widget. But you're going to find here that if you wanted to def um, edit the settings for a, a simple widget that's just been inserted directly into the, the, the layout, you just have a, a little drop down arrow here and then you can change what it is that uh, the settings should be changed to. Um, and then of course you could just as easily insert a sidebar so I've just done that and then specify I want this to be home number I don't know two so when we do that it's just like home number two right here and um, and you know we could hit save and then immediately when we go to reload this we're gonna find that 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 sidebar is placed twice on our page so we've got here the first section and then we've got our second section and um, and that's you know we can go and add this as many times as we like so if I'm just and, and then of course to delete it if I don't want to just hit the delete button there and then I did say that what we'd want to do is uh, go and take a look at appearance and the widgets how to tell the difference between a widget that is available globally uh, in both the editor the layout editor as well as in here what you're going to find here is you're going to see that there's an asterisk. We may be changing this to a different icon here, but um, this widget is also available in the layout editor. So it's available here in this widget control panel as well as the layout editor. So if you wanted to just have a single row with, uh, say, the content panel group, you could just go directly to the, the layout editor and just insert that. Generally speaking, though, we've gone and set up a bunch of uh, layouts for you in the most typical fashion that you're probably going to need. You can, if you wish, change that however you like. Um, there are a million and one different options available to you. But we've gone and uh, tried to arrange the, the layouts, uh, how you would see it in our online demo, and how you're going to find it the most effective uh, use of space and content. Anyways, I, I hope you find that helpful for the crash course for the widgets. Uh, please look towards the uh, tutorials for each individual widget uh, where we will go through just how to go and make the changes and, and what the different settings are currently.